Hi, my name is Shelby, and you're about to get to know me. Uh, my name is Shelby, and I am from Illinois, actually. So. Oh my gosh, it's actually a funny story. It's actually a funny story. So, I was dating this guy for like two years in college, and then what do you know? He cheated on me. So I was like, you know what? Screw this, because I didn't even want to be in Illinois anymore, anyways. And I was waiting on him to like graduate. So I was like, okay, like I'll wait for him, and we'll figure it out. And then I was like, after that, I was like, screw that. At the time, I had this, I had this guy that we were like best, best friends, and he was already moving to Tampa. I don't know what made him choose Tampa. So I was like, you know what? I want to go too. So I went and visited with him the following week. And then the week after that, I actually ended up, it just, it just happened to work out so perfectly. I got a job that week there, I got a place. And I was like, and I left Illinois two weeks later. And I was like, I feel like such a boss bitch. I was like driving there and I was like, woo, I feel so independent. And that's, and that's literally what brought me here. Like I wouldn't, it's never like chose Tampa specifically, I don't think, but, and then I just like fell in love with it, so. I would be doing all the things outside. You would, I would live outside. No, I'm just kidding. But like, I pretty much, and, and it probably, I, I actually don't really get on. I've taken a, a totally, a break from social media. Like I'm not, because I wake up, you know, I work, and then I pretty much never check my phone at work. So I'm not on social media, like at all. And then right after work, I go play pickleball, or I go play tennis, or I go play volleyball. And then, you know, by the time that's done, and then I go get food, it's like, like 10, 1030. And then, I'm on it for like an hour or so, you know, but it's just kind of like, I just think it's so toxic and, it, and I find myself like mentally, it's just like, it's better for me. Like I'm not so obsessed with it and I just don't get people that are so obsessed with it. Like I just, I feel like it's so ironic because social media actually makes you less social. Like you don't even have to leave the room to go talk to people. Like for real, I feel like that's why people are so awkward. And I just think it's so much better to like interact with people like one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I don't really like people that much, but like the people that I do like. <laughs> Ooh, free round trip. I think I would do Japan. Cause I've heard so many great things about that place. And um, my grandma was actually full Japanese. She came from Japan actually. She married my grandpa who was in the Air Force and they moved to America. And she sp spoke like zero English, like so like super off the boat. And then my mom, you know, she was an Air Force grad. So she's, she's half. And so I'm a quarter, always thinking I was a quarter of course. And then I did a DNA ancestry and I was actually, 33%. So I'm like, now I say a third, you know? So, cause you can get more genes from your mom than your dad, you know, whatever. But um, I definitely would say Japan. I think I would. Yeah, cause I've always wanted to go there. Oh my God. That's, honestly, I'm always listening to something upbeat. I always, I'm not really into like the deep music, you know? I think I would say Tail Feather by Nelly. Honestly, that song is bumping. I use it all the time for everything. It's just like such a good pump up song. Everyone likes it. Uh, probably like an hour ago when I ran outside in my freaking bra to my car, I was embarrassed. There was a group of guys, they're cutting hair and they're like, ooh. You know, they're like, oh, there's a stripper running down the street. That's probably what they were thinking. Yeah, I was embarrassed. All well, the cars. I'm serious, I was. I was like, oh my God, I was like, Oh gosh, yeah, modeling. So how I got into modeling. Okay, so in college, uh, I, that guy that I had been with, um, he wasn't like, he was very like conservative, you know, like he wouldn't be approving of me doing this, you know? So I did a photo shoot and he knew I was going to the photo shoot. Well, one of my outfits I didn't tell him about because it was, and it was something like so minimal. It was like, it was just like, it was like a leotard. It was like a freaking one suit, okay? And it wasn't even like scandalous. It was very tasteful. And they looked, and it looked really good. So I was nervous to tell him about it, but the photos came out so good. So I tried to be sneaky and be like, hey, like, do you care if I do another photo shoot and like do it in that outfit? And he's like, oh, like, no, I don't care. Well, the guy had posted it after I said that. And he was like, oh, so you already did it. And I was like, ah! So that's, and then after that photo, I just, I got, I was like, I'm kind of like into this now. So then when I moved down here, I just like, there's so much more opportunity to do it. And people are, is judgmental down here because 
people in Illinois or at least where I'm from in that area, it's not like it's Chicago, you know, it's like in the middle of Illinois. So they're like, pick and I'm not. So, um, so yeah, I kind of just like, it started off as a hobby and I mean, it still is a hobby. Um, but if the opportunity did present itself then I would absolutely like take off, like I would be like, hell yeah, let's go, you know, like, cause I feel so comfortable now. And I just kind of started doing more and more and then you figure out what you like and what you don't like and what you look good doing and so, so on and so forth. So yeah, really that, uh, that random like photo shoot with that guy back in Illinois, I was just like, this is like kind of fun, you know? So yeah. Um, I think that I didn't expect it to be like, and I mean, obviously it's, it's, every, it's everyone's own opinion. Like whether they think I'm good, they think I'm not good. I don't really give a shit, you know? So for me, it's like, it's fun. And there's definitely poses more that I like doing that I don't like doing, but I would say that it taught me that I am so comfortable now, like doing it in front of people and like not giving a fuck, you know, and not, and not caring because you know, some people they get weird if they're taking selfies and then like you come in and they're like, oh gosh, they're hiding. And I'm like, who cares? Just like, you were so judgmental. It's like, if you want to take a selfie, take a selfie. I don't give a shit, you know? So it made me like more comfortable in my own skin, you know? And then it makes you feel, and, and I'm not saying you have to wear risque stuff to, you know, to feel sexy, but like, if you feel sexy in something, then fucking wear it. Like not just because people don't want you to. So it kind of made me like open up a little bit more. I think it definitely did. To get unstressed, pick a ball. I hit the shit out of it and it makes me feel good. Honestly, like if I'm having a bad day and I like, first of all, it's just like, it's quick movement. So you're not really, it's no deep thinking a lot. You know, it's just, it's just reaction and you, you just forget everything and it's fun. And I like people I play with. So I would say, yeah, I'll say that. I do believe in some, yeah, definitely. I think that there's absolutely a cure for cancer because all these cancer research doctors would be losing their jobs. They wouldn't be donating millions and millions of dollars to them anymore, fuck that. They would all lose their jobs. Billions, billions, exactly. And then, whoa, whoa, you know, I just think it's bullshit. It's a way to shred the fat on this earth because there's too many of us. So yeah, I do. I do believe that there's a cure for a lot of diseases and pharmaceutical companies just want to make all this money. And I think I 100% believe that. So if you call that a conspiracy theory, I think that's just facts. But I mean, oh my God, you know, I just put it on in like whatever way it goes. But usually when I do put it on, it's, it's going over, it's going over. Yeah. I don't know if like, is that a good answer? Yeah. Cause when I do put it on, it does go over. Yeah. Because yeah, it never goes under. No, fuck that. It goes over. Yeah. I'm an over person. I decided just now I'm over. I'm, I'm into astrology because I think it's like interesting and like fun, but I'm not like, oh, this person's a Aquarius. So that means like, I'm not into it like that. I only really know about my sign to be honest. And yeah, I think I freaking love my sign. I'm a Scorpio. So I just, I just think that's cool. I mean, I don't, I don't really like get into it, into it though. So, but I definitely like think it's fun. Oh my God, like Bruce or something. I think Bruce, like near Bruce. Yeah, I think Bruce. I would say Bruce. For a girl, I don't know yet. I'm still pondering that. Yeah. I'm gonna like say someone's name. They're gonna be like, that's my name. I'm like, but, it, but it's good on you though. But it, but it sounds great on you. <laughs> No, I don't know yet. Honestly, I feel like I'm still figuring myself out and I'm still figuring out what I like, like to do, what I don't like to do. I don't even know what I like to do. I, like, honestly, I don't. So I can really give you like, a cool, I could, really couldn't say like what my dream job would be yet. I'm still figuring that out. I say a lot of curse words. I don't ever say the C word though, but like I say, fuck a lot and I probably shouldn't because it's not ladylike but I say it a lot especially when I'm playing like sports you know like because I get really like into it but like not like a bad into it but like I get very like passionate so uh, yeah I, I, I definitely say uh I say shit a lot but I like shit I'll say shit or I'll say fuck I say fuck a lot I never even had pineapple on my pizza so I couldn't even tell you uh but I like pineapple. I just don't think those like really flow well. Do you like it? Is it good?
as a pet where I could provide it a good life. I honestly would say, but I would say like a bigger animal, but I wouldn't be able to provide them like room that they need because I'm a huge animal lover. So I would just say like a freaking Doberman, a Doberman dog, a Velcro dog right by my side, just thinking I'm the best thing in the world. Yeah. I would say, oh my God, I feel like I have so many. I just can't think of one right now, but I used to be dead ass like, really afraid of like killer drag queens. Like there's been a couple of movies that I've watched where there was like a drag queen, there was like a guy, but he was like dressed up, but he wasn't really, cause like, you know, the drag queens that actually try, like they actually do like look like women, but like the ones that like don't really try. And they're just like six feet tall with heels on. And then they're like six, seven now. And they got like a knife. That's a really weird. That's why you want to say it out loud. They're like, you don't like drag queens. I'm like, no, I swear. Oh my gosh, I'm sure many. Well, I don't know, like nowadays, I feel like guys don't really ask me out in person anymore. Like it's always like via DM. Y'all pussies. Okay. No, that was, I wouldn't, cause are you talking about the location or are you talking about like the worst experience? Okay, so it was when I was really into like working out and I was at the gym and this guy um, not only interrupted me during like what I was doing, like, you know, like you're in pain when you're working out and I'm like, and I, then I get irritated when I'm in pain. And then if someone does something that's annoying while I'm irritated and in pain, then I'm like, I don't know, I have, I have a temper sometimes. So he came up to me and he smelled so incredibly bad, by the way. He was like, hey, little mama. I saw you cross the gym and his eyes weren't even like open. I was like, you just like smoke a blonde before you came over here. And he was like, not that I care about the way. But like he came over, he just like, he was like, just the smell of like VO mixed with like weed and like his breath and like, it interrupted me during my workout. And he was like, hey, like let me take you out. And I was like, I was gonna say, I was gonna lie. In that moment I saw myself because I was gonna lie and say I had a boyfriend because that's just so easy to do. But I made a resolution to myself a couple years back that I don't wanna have to make excuses anymore. Like if I don't wanna go to your dinner party, I'm just gonna say I don't wanna go. Cause I don't wanna go. Like I don't like big dinner parties. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I don't wanna wait for you guys all to talk and then get your appetizers. Like I'm hungry. So I don't wanna wait. So I was like, no. And I didn't mean to be, I, and I don't like to, and, I, and I'm really big into like treat people how you'd like to be treated. I never wanna put someone down, especially like if a guy's coming up to you. I mean, it probably takes a lot of guts, right? But just like everything about him was just so gross and it was just all the worst wrong time. And like, I was just like, no. And he was like, no, like he was so shocked. I'm like, why, why are you shocked right now? Like, like I swear, I'm like, but you know what? Props to him for having all the confidence in the world. And I was like, I mean, props. But I said, no. And I'm mad because you just interrupted me now. But I wouldn't say that was like such a bad experience. I was just like so incredibly grossed out by him. Like, no, like not ever would that happen. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this. Um, again, my name is Shelby. If you want, you can follow me on my social media. It's uh, it's Princess SJL. And thank you guys for getting to know me again. And sincerely, okay.